Hey guys, Gears of Thrills here, and we're back with some more Enshrouded. As you can see, I'm not in the base, I'm in a different location. I'm going to give the uh, the Hollow Halls a rest for today, and I feel like we're going to build some. So, I wasn't massively happy, well, I wasn't happy with my last build at all in that mountain. It was proper screwed up, but every single area I went, every turn I took, the build just went wrong and then I started getting the lighting issues and then they were tearing in the world where I could see through it with between the mounds and stuff. Right away, it gradually just zooms in. So we... Okay. Whatever. So we've moved. I have found a new location. In here, I've already started getting some sort of layout. This is uh, better for me as well because all I've had to do is just trim this back a tad. And then I've got all of that to play around with. And it's already flat. And if you're wondering where it is on the map, we are here. These are custom markers I put here before because I was wondering about building there. So we've moved from here to over here. Now, there's not a bit of shroud in bloody sight. There's shroud down here, but we're not going anywhere near it. So I should be in the main word there. Should be able to build inside this mountain and be absolutely fine. And the plan is... Build the kingdom, and then we'll have a shrine outside that allows us to be able to build some little hobbit holes. Because there's little holes here that look like little hobbit homes, right? So we can have our own little village going on. We've got one there. There's another one up here. There's one further up. I'm, I think I'm pretty sure I've shown this off before. There you go. There's another one here. Just remove this big monstrosity there. And then you can have like a little path running up here. And you can even put some more little hobbit homes kind of in here it looks good there's there's multiple little holes there's another one down there it is a great location nice little area on there's another one there nice little area on the edge of the map and that would lead in quite fine to this place here hopefully so i've got two shrines in so far i've got one in the middle which is covering the most areas then i realized that i screwed up put one in the middle and i locked myself in the cave so i've had to put one down here so I could actually get back out. Because <laughs> because I couldn't. Alright? Because it wouldn't let me. So I've got a kind of like a floor plan set down already. So the entrance is going to be this part here. And the door to get in is going to be here. And I'm going to embed it into the wall a little bit. And then I've got a big, big floor plan going down. All the way down here. I've got some sort of layout how I want it. I've got these natural things here that I might leave as they are. It depends if they get in the way. But we tunnel through into a cave system. There's a little chest down there. And another little entrance. This is where I was originally going to build my base. But it wasn't facing the right direction, so I couldn't. But yeah, we've got like a little cave. It basically opens up into a cave. I've had to stop, obviously. I can't go any further because uh, the flame shrine can't take it. So what I'm going to do is I feel like we're probably just going to keep pushing out some sort of floor pattern, some sort of floor layout, try and get the design of how we want it. And I, I reckon I'm probably going to have to sink more shrines into this. I'm already two in. I didn't really want to put any more than two, but I feel like it's the way to go. The original floor plan that I want is pretty big. So I'm going to come down here to there and there and remove the shrines. Just so I've got extra ones. Here we go. Goodbye, shrine. We no longer need you. You were just out here so I could repeat loot the building. I tell you what. I've got a sword. Let's go sneakily loot this place one last time, huh? Why the bloody hell not? Oh, hold on. I don't have my pick with me. Do I have my pickaxe with me? I do. Okay, let's go down and we'll loot the uh, the chest one last time. If I could get up this hill. I used to be able to just climb straight up that. Strange. But that was only there so we could rinse and repeat the loot. And, and get sand but we can always just glide out here right we don't have to have it where it is right that's that done goodbye shrines i now have five out of eight means i've got three spare but push comes to shove i can always get rid of these two these are just my gathering places for ore anyway and then that will give me an extra two should be okay and i now can sink them into this build it's gonna be gonna be big I might have to mess around with the size of the shrine, so I'll have to put one out there. Once I've got the layout how I want it, I can fully upgrade the one I want on the entrance to incorporate the area outside, and then I can push this further back into the building, fully upgrade it, and then put maybe put one on each side just so I can get the area. It's going to be big, and I'm hoping 
If I build it in smaller sections and smaller rooms, I'll actually be able to see the bloody rooms and it won't be shrouded in darkness. I'm not going to use wow block because the audio from a wow block sucks. So I'm not doing that. <laughs> Basically, I'm skipping it. It's bad. Right, let's crack on with this. Um, I've got like a little hallway that runs down here. That brings you down to this tunnel. Then I ran out of room, but I moved my shrine since then. So I should be able to um, keep pushing back. As you can see, I've got crap tons of blocks because I stripped them all out of the other base. So, And a lot of them went into this floor already, which I'm going to convert the ceilings very soon. Right, I can't get back any further down that way. So in here, there's going to be a room. Uh, I'm going to have it two high, not one high. And I need to figure out how I'm going to do the room here. Uh, so we've got one, two, that would be there, and then one, two, that would be the corner piece, one, two, three, four in the middle, I think that looks alright, I suppose. Right, so room will be here, like that. That'll go indoors. That'll be a door. Oh, where the hell did that one go? What? That must have been a misplace a while ago. Putting lamps down as I go so I can actually bloody see. So this is going to be a room. Uh, this is going to be like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. The council chambers. So you come in through the main door. The people or the clans can come in. And they can come into this room here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to this way. So one two that's going to be a wall there so i'm going to get the wall in place now i reckon just so i know where the corners are if i don't do that i'm not i'm not going to have a clue on what's what so that'll be a wall right there and there as well and behind that will be a wall perfect I just felt like having a rest from slaughtering, believe it or not. And uh, just uh, want to do a bit of building, that's all. That shrine can be pushed back into here. If it's the council chamber, I can maybe line the shrine up in the middle, smash it down there, that will open up more room. And then have a shrine further at the front. Hopefully they'll overlap. I've been trying to measure it. Like, it's it's quite difficult to measure the shrine. I've been moving it around all over the bloody place. It's driving, driving me nuts. Right, here we go. So it's six long and six back. This is the entrance to the chamber. Uh, I'm glad I built a crap ton of these. These were originally going to go in the Dwarven Kingdom that I was building. And then I took it down. Uh, that's two, three, four, five. Put one of these down. These things are so small. I kind of like them. It's so many, easy to make. You can carry them around. I've got loads of torches on me, like absolutely crap tons because, well, I took them out the other base. These don't fit because they're too big, but, you know, that should be six. I lost count. Right, that is six. And now that should go across and I can hollow that out. Like I said, it's going to be too high. And then uh, that will give us, well, well, I'll say two full walls high, which is four foundations. It's always... In, I'm measuring. I'm measuring it twice, three times, maybe four times at some points just to make sure I've got it lined up right. I don't want to screw it up. Otherwise, I'll end up with massive gaps. The less I've got to dig, I think, the better. And probably the less strain it will put on the game. As you can tell, though, the place I'm actually at at the moment, the walls are sand. Uh, it's not sand. It's dirt. And it's snow. Very weird. It's a very weird location. I'm in the snow biome, so... But I've got to be careful, because I know there's, like, invisible barriers around here somewhere where it doesn't let you go out the edge of the map, so I have to be really careful. And there's also that huge uh, mine that runs through these mountains. But to be fair, if I dig into the mines, then uh, I might even put another shrine down and take them as mine. I think that would work real well. Right, with that dug out, I feel like we need to work on the centerpiece. So, we'll go in one. Crap, I hate it when it does that. Post it through the wall. 
I don't like how it automatically starts you off zoomed like really far out when you uh, first log in as well. That's really annoying. I, I want it to keep the settings I set. So if we go in and we can go left by like, I don't know, three maybe? One, two. I can't see a frigging thing. Frazier up. Here we go. Two. Oh, crap. Three. So one, two, three. Because I'm trying to think of like if my last place you walked into the kingdom, right? And you walked straight into the throne room, like straight into where the king would sit. I didn't like that. I mean, I liked the build. It was good. It messed up a few times, yeah. But I didn't like the fact that you walked straight into the king's chambers. And then the city was upstairs. Made no sense. If I was going to live in a place like that, I'd have my frigging throne room upstairs. And the city downstairs. So you had to go through the city to get to the king. You know? So I'm changing it a little bit. So this will be the audience room. That should be coming up to the... Uh, there it is. Knew it. So this will be the audience chamber. You come in here. There's going to be tables and chairs. There's going to be like a little stage area. Where the king would sit to take audience. Not the bloody throne room. Just so you can talk about diplomatic things. About, oh, we need to kill this uh, kingdom. Simple as that. That's what I'm kind of going for. And then we can go from there. Right. Obviously, the floor in here is going to be different, I think. I might make this a bit fancier because it is going to be the high council rooms. So what we can do is we can go and get the other stuff. I'm so, Yeah, because this is snow. If you haven't seen snow before, you can't walk on it. It has a slow effect. Frost slow, see? Pretty cool, huh? Okay, that is that. I mean, it looks stupid because the ceilings are too low, but like I said, I'm going up again. I did mess up a little bit and dig it out a little bit too far over there and over there, but I'm thinking of maybe putting stairs in so people can come in and sit. I think that might look nice. All the way around the outside, maybe stairs or stools or some sort. I don't know. Maybe I could do what I did last time with the ceilings. Just uh, raise it up a tad. And then just have it edging up around the outside so people can come in and just sit down. Because it's the audience chamber, right? That's where you'd come in. You'd come in down here. You'd get checked in. Wow, what was that? Oh, that's my border. Am I at the end of my border? I think I am, you know. Uh, yeah, I am. Need building area. Jesus Christ. I really wish we could, like, didn't have to have that building area, you know. I really wish that we could just build, not worry about it. Right, I need to measure this place up because I need to get another shrine in. Because I need to go back uh, way further than this because i still got to get loads of rooms and stuff in. Right, okay. So, let's do this. I need to measure it up. Um, that's two. That's two. Uh, hopefully, I'll put the shrine here. And that'll be much better. And then we could just... I've got enough shrines I can mess around with, so that should be alright. Right, so the dead centre of this room is actually there. Uh, let's get rid of that. Like, here. It's 10 by 8, I think it is. So that makes sense. They all come down to here. That should travel down to here and end up in the middle over here. Uh, let me relocate that. Get that out of the way. That looks about right. If you ask me, then the throne will be up against the back wall. And the tables will sit either side of the throne. And then, yeah, right. Okay, so I need to get a shrine in down there. So let's build one of them. There it is. Uh, and now I need to go back to my base and go get all my bits and pieces so I can upgrade the damn thing. I don't want it sunk into the floor, though. I want to raise it a little bit. How do I bloody raise it? It won't... Maybe because it's snapping. Oh, there we go. Right, now I need to farm my bloody cores. Oh, there they are. Crowd cores. I'm going to say my... Uh, well, get rid of that. My storage is a mess. So it's got to be around here somewhere. And there it is. Oh, I've got so much crap on me. Uh, I can't remember how many it is to upgrade it. I mean, I've even got spores in there. Got spores in there? All right, let's make some more. We're going to make some more spore, uh, cores using the spores. I've got loads of spores. 
Right, that is that fully upgraded. And uh, that should now give me a hell of a lot of room. That will push it right back there. Right back down there. And that is uh, kind of crap. what I need. Uh, let's get rid of the rest of this so we can open up this room again. We don't need these anymore. And now I should be able to make the tunnels go deeper. Because this is going to be surrounded by like uh, all sorts of rooms. Like they're, they're, I don't know. What are you having? The parcels and stuff like that. All the legal rooms and stuff like that, you know. The diplomacy rooms and the chantry and, you know, the messenger's office and stuff like that. Those sort of things. And that should push it back that way and that way. So that should allow me to be able to build what I actually want to build on the outside. But that is big. One, two, three. Yeah, three and a half. And then one... Two, three, and a yeah, three and a half. That's dead center in the room. Right, need to move the floor. Need to start getting some. Uh, I don't know whether to use ceilings. That's the problem. Because if I'm gonna dig into it and put inlays, you're gonna see it underneath. Unless I oh, know you won't, because it's not gonna be perfect. Oh yeah, it will. Ah, huh. but then I go and I I could just put. Can you put a ceiling on top of a ceiling? Will it snap? Like that. Let's have a little look over here. I'm pretty sure you can put a ceiling on top of a ceiling, right? So if I do that, and then I do that. Yeah, that'd be fine. I could just double up the ceiling, what's underneath. And then just... Uh, we'll do that. Because it's going to be a lot cheaper replacing this and putting... Um, ceiling down instead... Oh, instead of... Like the actual... You know foundation right it's not half the bloody price i think all right i don't know why i didn't do this in the first place to be honest i think i forgot <laughs> and it just started placing bloody foundations oh well at least i know remember to just use ceilings if you're building indoors unless you've got a ridiculous amounts of resources because it's just you don't need foundations there we go. I am claiming back a lot of this stone. Considering I only had like 20,000 of it when I started, I'm now sitting at 65. Because I'm removing uh, the uh, foundations. Oh, crap. That is wrong. However, those front ones, I'm going to keep foundations because they lead outside. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the outside part yet. So they're staying foundations. I think it's probably for the best. We can get rid of these now. I know where the center is. Yeah, that's all right. And then I'm going to have a Hobbit village over there. I've got that there. On the other side of this mountain, I think over here, there's a like a massive tavern. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to it. I would like to be able to build some sort of tunnel system through to it so you can run under the ground to the tavern. And that is a way through. Uh, did I... Is that all? That is all done. Right, this is not, though. So I'll do these little strips down here. These are going to lead into rooms. I'm thinking you come in at the first floor. You're not going to want to traipse up downstairs with goods. So I'm thinking maybe storage, food storage, maybe stuff like that. I might even utilize that back entrance over there. So you're not coming in through the main quarters in the area at the front. Keep the nice open forecourt area clean. We'll see. I am going to very carefully select what blocks I use in this build. I think I'm going to pre-build like a, I don't know, like a hut. See if it changes the audio. I want to use the marble. But I've got a feeling like the marble is probably going to make the place sound like uh, the hollow halls, which I don't want to happen. And I want to use the windows. The ectoplasm windows, I feel like they look real good in here. Because we're underground, right? There's no lights. There's no point in having actual windows because you can't see anything, even if you did. Oh, wow, that was in the wrong place. At least those windows give off light and it's like, like you are outside, you know? We'll have to wait and see. I'm not sure. But if it starts changing the audio, I'm, uh, I'm taking it all down. I just... I feel like I'm very restricted on what I can build with because of that. 
All right, finally did it. That's taken bloody ages, but I've gone from 20,000 to 82,000 blocks. <laughs> That's a lot. That is a lot, but it works, and I'm glad. Right, that is the council chamber. We have the main hall. I'm just trying to figure it out of how I want to do this. So I'm going to go downstairs, but I might go up first. Might split it. So we'll go up some stairs leading into a balcony area around the top. And you can have like the servant quarters and the throne room and stuff up there. And then we could go down to the king's quarters. And then we can go down again, maybe a bit further underground to like the treasury and stuff like that. I'm just trying to figure it out. Because if you come into a big kingdom like this, you don't come into a little balcony and walk around the balcony and then go down. You come into like a massive open up space, right? And then you'd go up to the balcony areas. So we'll have to think about it. I'll have to think. Right, now we continue with the uh, the back part over here. Oh, I was looking at it to figure out what I was going to do. I've, <laughs> I've got a plan now. So this should be... I don't even know. Counting the middle part plus the outside. I want room for room. So probably 18-ish. Boom. 18. That is fine. Double wide hall so it doesn't look like cramped or claustrophobic. Which is nice. Going to build it out of cobble. I'll go back around and replace all the stone when I need to. I'll put in the, the ceilings. Just, oh crap, just open it up. It's a little bit, um, don't know what's going on actually. It's a bit, there we go. A little bit sluggish with the, uh, with the old building. Placing it seems to be a bit off. I really wish there was a way that you could recycle blocks. Because I've got a crap ton of well blocks that I really, really don't want anymore. And I wish there was a way that I could just get rid of them. Like, put them in a machine, grind them down, get the stone back, get the shroud liquid. I've got, like, thousands of the bloody things, and I don't want them anymore. Because I like this block, but I'm thinking, maybe I'll go darker. Might go darker block. Feel like it might look better. I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure I have a quest as well, to be fair, to get another block. Unless I've already got it. Uh, fortification, yeah, that one. Obtain the castle wall stone block. I'm pretty sure I've got that. New, go to the mining rift. Where is that? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got that. Unless I, I haven't got it. Which I, I'm a bit odd if I haven't. I made sure. I don't think it's a new block. Maybe I'll go back to my base in a bit. Actually, I'm going to go back to my base. I'll dig this out. Well, up to there. And then we'll go back and we'll have a look. Oh, we've got city wall block. We don't have the castle wall block. Uh, okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we go get it? It's only there, right? We were just there earlier. I'm not going to loot anything. I'm pretty sure I've got no room. <laughs> i got no room. But I would like to see what that castle wall stone block looks like. All right. Let's go back to the base. Am I rested? We are. We'll go back to the base. Uh, our, our kingdom. Look at that perfectly lined. Anyway, where is it? It's down here, my storage is. We'll go back here. And then um, we can uh, unload our kit. We can go and have a look for that block. It shouldn't take long to get, to be fair. I just, I just want it. All right, onwards. Off we go. Time to glide. And I think I've got up draft. There we go. Literally, there's a mine area just down here, so it's not far. We can uh, probably... Don't clip that. I'll die. Land up here and then jump off the top of this. Here we go. Coming up to it now. I'm just going to lay waste the mining rift. I don't know why I said it like that. It's just sounded... What the hell is... Don't jump. It's not worth it. You don't want to go down here, though. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I am going to lay waste to this place, mate. Absolutely lay waste. Where's my blocks, you turds? Give it to me. You stupid low-level crap. I don't even care for you. I'm not even going to pick up your pieces. I'm just going to leave you on the floor. 
whilst I look for my blocks. Could be around here somewhere. Maybe further in. We'll go down here. Bound to be in here. Uh oh. Alright, let's not get cocky. We'll have to be real careful now. Oh. No, that's not it. Go away. Bloody birds. Moth things. Not even a bird, is it? Alright, wand it is then. Too close, can't get him. Bringing ninjas. What the hell? I got him. Okay. I've got to be real. What's that? Is that iron? Oh, it is. Oh, it's tin. Oh, sod tin. I've got my mind set up. I know where I want to go to get that stuff. Doesn't look good down here, though. Oh, there's a tree! Oh, hold on. Let me take out the trash. I didn't realise there was a tree down here. I thought I had them all. I was so sure I had them all. I'm pretty sure that just keeps respawning them as well. Hello. Don't mind me. I was so sure I took out all the trees. Apparently I didn't. Jesus. I don't know how many there are. I'm not looting any of these. They're all really low level. They've got nothing I need. But these I'm going to kill. Oh, Jesus Christ. Shut up. Right, so what I need is not in there. I can't move. What the hell? Let's push past and we'll keep going. What's that green goopy stuff? Just dirt. Oh, okay. It just looks weird. All right, well, I've been trying to... It just looks weird. Strange. Okay, well, I'll avoid... And... Well, not avoid that because it doesn't actually do anything. All right, never mind. Oh. All right, well, I mean, I've just followed it out into the bloody shroud, so I didn't, I didn't realise there was another entrance into this place. Give me my building blocks. I don't care about anything else. That's all I want. You can save yourself. I won't slaughter any more of your people. Just give me my block. That's all I care about at this stage. Um, don't know where to go. Up here, I suppose. Oh, this has got potential to be it. This is in a hard place. And... Bloody hell, it's that crappy shield. Delete that crap. I don't want it. I don't want it. Oh, I don't want it. Oh, so where's my blocks? That's who I'm after. This is a pain in the ass to get up. All right. Oh, it's probably because I came into it through the wrong way. Never mind. Okay, doesn't matter. All right, back up we go then. See, that's the sort of stuff I'm getting. Look at that massive tear in the... In the wall up there. That's a solid wall, but for some reason I'm getting this tearing. Like that. It's just it doesn't look right. It looks really weird. Right, I'm I've come in at a different angle and I'm going down deeper underground, so um I just want my bloody block. Hold on. Is this where I was at earlier? How do I get down? Potentially could be the place I was at earlier. Hmm. Maybe it is. I don't remember this, though. It doesn't look right. I don't know what this green stuff is. Why is this green stuff not hurting me? Very strange. I'm going to pop one of these wisps so I can actually bloody see. There we go. Alright, that was a bust. It's not down there, then. So where the bloody hell is it? Just want my building block. And then I'll leave. First of all, though, I'm going to pick up this because I need it. Extend my time in the shroud. Considering I feel like it's going to take me forever to look for the bloody thing. Maybe it's further up. Location above, it says. But I don't listen to that location above rubbish because it's done that before and it was like way below me. Or maybe it's there. On that crane. Got it. Boom. Castle wall. Stone block. At workbench. Right, let's get the bloody hell out of here. Right, let's get home. Uh, actually, let's go here. Because this is where all our building materials. And we'll have a look at that block and see what it looks like. See if it's nice. 
Right, let's have a little look at this block, shall we? Um, I think we should test out the ceiling. Uh, yeah, that's not an indoor block. Definitely not an indoor block. I mean, it looks good from below, but there's a lot of moss and stuff on it. That, that's more of an outside. Maybe outside here, but no, that's not for me. Looks nice, though. Let's test the walls. Looks like it's full of mud. Yeah, no, not for me, I'm afraid. It was worth a look. At least we got the block. It's not something that I will be using, though. So we'll ditch this in here. Never to be seen again. Actually, we'll just take everything out. And then we'll ditch what we don't need. So I'm changing my, uh, my tactics on this build. Normally I'd build room by room and I'd spend ages getting it done properly, looking nice, getting it laid out and stuff like that and all that stuff, you know? This time around, I am going to... Uh, I'm not going to do that. This time around, I am going to build the place. Then, then I'm going to kit out the rooms. So build, then kit it out. We'll go like that. I feel like it's probably best. It will work best anyway. Um, that way I can see what I've got. I don't want to spend hours like building something if it's going to screw up like it did last time and not let me finish the build, you know? Wow, I'm moving real quick all of a sudden. Perfect. Lined up. There's always that one thing or that little bit inside you. That no matter how much you count an area and you know that you're going the right way, there's that little bit inside you that's like you're probably a little bit too far out or maybe you're doing it a bit short mate and the tunnel's not going to reach and then you end up digging it out further and further and further because I haven't count counted uh, how far along I was digging but I was successful it worked man I'm actually really excited to finish this build you know perfect last bit done nice I wish we could see like a layout of kind of how I'm building this like on the map but we can't I feel like I'm coming awfully close to the edge of my barrier as well. Um, the only thing we need to do now is probably go up another level. I suppose we could get the doors and walls in and stuff. Especially for this side. We can't go any further that way. Nor that way because I've hit the edge of the barrier. Um, so I'm going to have to well, have to put a shrine down there and a shrine over there. Then, just to get this place done properly. But I feel like we could probably get some walls in so we can mark out roughly where I want things. Um, yeah, we'll do that. So that'll be uh, a wall, a wall, a wall. I'm going to wall all this off. There we go. This one's going to be a door because I want one there. And then I'm not going to put another door until way down there. So I need to figure out how far, maybe by the corner like I did last time. Right, I think that looks all right, I suppose. I just uh, just spaced it out randomly. I've got no windows involved, but I will be putting windows in, obviously. Uh, that is going to just come down there like that, I think, just so I can square that off. This is going to be going in here, so we can proper square this. Oh, oh that didn't work. What's that connecting to? Get rid of that. There we go. That's odd. That is very weird. Let's not do that again. This isn't going to have any doors. This is just going to be a solid wall for the hallway. I can crap. I can fill this in, get it all the way around just so I know where I'm going. Like I said, we'll go up again. It is too small. It's a bit claustrophobic. I don't like it when it's like this. Right, that's that. That'll be a door there. I'll have a double door in that section there. So I'm just going to leave that open. That's walled. I'm not entirely sure. Might gut this place out. And um, put up some stuff inside there. But I'm, I'm not sure as of yet. Right. Um. Right, okay. Let's clear inside some of these rooms then, I suppose. I think it will look quite nice. Uh, let's have a look. I think behind that wall is going to be leading into the other hallway that I've got planned for at the bottom. But for this section, I 
feel like we'll just clear this area out. And then just basically get a rough guide of what we want. And then I can put lights in it. Right. That kind of works. I feel like I might have a hallway here. Just there. Put that down there so I know that's going there. So I know what we're working with. Uh, this is three wide. That's the fourth. Thinking maybe a door in the middle like there. That could be the room inside there. Only going to be like a three by four. Not going to be massive. Uh, we've got a bit of a gap here. Thinking maybe where's the floor? Uh, there might put it there in the middle. Might slide it one over. We'll slide it over one, and then we can get like a window in there, and then that will corner off there. Okay, right. Let's push this hallway back a tad. Let's get some lights down here. Actually, I'll tell you what. I'm just gonna have one of these wisps so we can actually see what we're doing. It makes building a lot easier. So we're gonna push this back one, I think. And then we can go away from the center. We push that back one. Then we can go this way. It's going to be a hallway by like three or something or four. Right. So I've kind of, again, got a rough, rough line of what I want. Fill in the walls. There's the greeting area. We have a doorway over there. This is going to go like that to the hallway. Crap. No, completely the wrong place. It's going to be a smaller hallway. Like I said, nothing massive here. Need to figure out what I'm going to do with this. Might make, might push it back a little bit more. All right, let's get this room done first anyway. Uh, we'll just push through. And then it's what, maybe a three by two or something like that three by four right that is that get the walls up i accidentally went over by one but that's fine there's going to be a room in there so i'm going to go two door and three so door will go there gonna be a lot of rooms leading into rooms and they're all gonna have like offices and stuff like that that does not look right see i hate when that happens it's meant to lock into place but for some reason bloody doesn't the, that's not that's it that'll do and it's pushed it a little bit too far back but it doesn't matter it's meant to lock into place but for some reason it doesn't it drives me nuts ends up ruining a build because it ends up like a quarter out the floor or something okay well, we can get some lights in here now I suppose we get one of them in here man they don't light up much do they the lights kind of suck a little bit glad they brought out the new ones right we'll go back here uh, I don't even know. I've got to go maybe to this way, I reckon. Just enough to um, basically not push through the wall too far. Because I'm going to have a room up here, aren't I? That should be fine. One, two, three. And I'll make this a three by two, I reckon. Nice and small. Just enough to get a couple of tables and chairs in here. Maybe a, a workbench. Not a workbench, but you know, like an office area. Books and some cabinets and things. That would work. Put a door in here, I think. And then a wall. And that could be just like a little a two by two. Yeah, we'll go two by two. That'll work. Although it won't let me place it. There we go. Yeah, that'll work. Because that digs into the area I actually dug out. Oh, accidentally dug out earlier, shall I say. Which is there. And that, see what I mean? Sinks it into the ground. It's annoying. That will be a wall that goes across there. Oh, crap. Uh, how do I want this wall? Like that, I think. And then we'll get a door in there. And then that'll be that, I suppose. That'll be this kind of section done. Oh, no, it's not done because I need to push it back on the other side and we need to get the uh, flooring and walls in there as well. It's going to be like an absolute bloody maze down here. But it's fine. If we get invaded, they're not going to know where to go. Not that we're going to get invaded. You know what? I'm half thinking I might just keep this this size and not make a ceiling. Well, I'll put a ceiling in, obviously, because it looks like sand, uh, snow. 
but not um not go up to so that's that office we've got this block here I'm gonna push this back a tad um i don't even know what I'm doing here maybe a, a, a three by four another three by four will mimic the other side that might work yeah that'll work that takes me up to the hallway down here now that I don't have any bloody... I'm running out of lights, man. I'm going to have to make a lot more. Yeah, that takes me up to the hallway here. Just I haven't put the wall in place. Let's get that wall in place. We want it on this side, not the inside. There we go. That'll work. And then we'll push this back. Well, maybe four. Something like that. All right, that looks good. Nice little three by four there. Looks about right. Might push it to a five. We shall see. Need to get the other side done anyway. Uh, I've got a room here, haven't I? So this is going to be a... I don't know, two by two? Yeah, we'll get a two by two in there. Just like a little little office, I suppose. One. Oh, there's a door. There's one there. So this will be two. I buy two. Easy. Easy peasy. Uh, get rid of that. Turn the floor into an actual ceiling so I can cover it easier. We'll save resources. We'll put some sort of light in here. There we go. And then we'll get some walls up. There we go. Perfect. Let's get the walls in this place. Now this will back onto whatever I build on the other side. I might double up the walls, make it a little bit double thick. But that should work perfect. Now that is how I kind of wanted it. Then I'll get a couple of tables in here, maybe a chair, like here, maybe a table, cut the chairs, you know, you'd walk in, sit down, have your appointment. This looks a bit plain, but it's fine. And we've got another little office there. We have another office kind of like here, pretty big this one, and then that would bring you into here and then into a smaller room. Maybe this can be like, a, I don't know, some sort of board room. Uh, we can get some windows in here. Maybe I'll might use some actual windows so you can see through them but it's fine i can just put windows in wherever i'll do that later i'm not doing that now we'll get uh, in depth in the detail of that later it's not going to be as in depth as i did last time obviously i'm going to maybe have a run down the middle i'm probably gonna put some bronze and stuff around all over the place because dwarven kingdom why wouldn't you you know what i mean and then uh, i'm gonna do like more rooms here but we're doing good. I'm actually uh, liking this. I'm going to kit all these... Not kit them out, but I'm going to like chisel out all these rooms first. And then I'll move on to the other part of the base. Um, definitely going to head upstairs, I'm thinking, to the uh, King's area, I think. Yeah, so upstairs. So like I'll have stairs going up that side and that side that will lead to like a balcony overlooking the centre column I have to go up to for that. I'm going to go up again. Put the stairs in and then we'll go up two more. And then coming off of that, we'll probably have like the king's like throne room at the back further that way, but it will be upstairs. And we'll have like the food, feast hall, like the food places and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Things like that. It's going to look great. I've got plans. I have got plans. Just need to measure them all out and get them all in the place. But I've obviously had to kind of measure these shrines out as well. That's how I've done it. Figured out how wide the shrines are. I think it's like a 20 by 20. Like you get 20 and then 20. So like I think it's like something like 40 of these blocks that you can get into them in a straight line before it stops. Or maybe a tad bit more. But that's kind of how I'm doing it. So yeah, I'm going to leave this one here. So thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more subscribers, I've got a Discord. Link's in the description. Feel free to hear and say hi. And I have a Patreon page. Link is also in the description if you feel like showing me a bit of support. You can. I very, it's very much appreciated. And I'd like to say a massive thank you to my YouTube subscribers, my patrons, and my YouTube members. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.